Hey guys, welcome to my video on how to use Signal. Signal is a messenger service with a focus on privacy. There are lots of unique and really great privacy features in the app. It's also completely open source, which means anyone can have a look at the code and really see if Signal is as secure as they say it is. Signal is available cross platform so if you have an iPhone or an Android device, even a Windows PC or a Mac computer, iPad as well, it's pretty much available on everything. I don't think it's available on Linux yet but I guess that's not a big issue for most of us. So you can use it on your phone and send messages pretty much to anywhere. In this video I'm just going to go through the setup process, all of the security features and then just some of the chat features that you can use in Signal, really just an overview of the app in general. So let's first get Signal opened up and you just have to essentially agree to the privacy policy which is this button so just press continue and then you have to enable all the permissions on the phone so allow them to access your contacts. You don't actually have to do that. You can press don't allow and still go through but of course you have to enable uh, notifications as well so just go through and choose them whatever you want to allow or not allow is up to you. It doesn't actually have to be your phone number. It can be somebody else's, but you do need access to the phone because they will send you a message with a code inside that you have to input to confirm that you received the message. The next page is just setting up your account. You have to put a first name in there. It can be your first name or pretty much anything. It doesn't actually have to be your name. Then we can go through and press the avatar button and you can just take a photo or choose one from your album, whatever you wanna put in there, to put that in there as your avatar. Then we come to creating a pin, which is quite unique in Signal. They won't ask you to input this every time that you open the app. It kind of asks you every now and again, and it will ask you less frequently the more that you use the app, but it's quite a good security feature. I'm just gonna allow Signal to connect to my Wi-Fi, and then this is the main page of Signal that we're in now. Let's go into the settings because Signal has a lot of privacy settings that are really what makes it stand out. I don't wanna go through all the settings here because you can see a lot of them yourself. And then we go down to privacy, which is obviously the main feature of Signal. Some of the main things you might wanna look at here is read receipts. So do you want read receipts turned on or off? Typing indicators is also something really good that you can see. So people can see if you're typing and vice versa. As we come down, you can go to registration knock as well. And like you can see for extra security, you can turn it on. This means that if you delete Signal and reinstall it or put it onto a different phone, it will ask you for that password. Screen security is also quite good in Signal, so you can actually enable it so that if you are uh, switching through screens, your chats won't be visible. I think that's a really good security feature, so no one can like see what your chat actually contains if you're not specifically in the app. Now, if you're on the iPhone, you can use Touch ID or Face ID to actually get into Signal, so you can turn that on or off as well. All of the other options and settings you can go through yourself. They're really the most important ones to get you up and running and setting it up right. But let's come and actually start our first chat. Let's press on the pencil icon right here and it's gonna come up with searching for a new name. So you can either find by a phone number or if they have a name in Signal that you know already, you can use that. So I'm just gonna go find by number and then input the number. I've added the number now and it's actually got the name of the person because they're in my contacts. If they're not in your contacts, you can click on this option up here and you can give a name to that contact. So you can add them to the contacts that you have in your phone. You can set that up how you want. So let's come out here and just send a message. So hello like this and message. And you can see that they're not read yet. You can have read receipts or at least delivery receipts. And you can see when they are read and I read them on the other phone, those receipts will be colored in. You can also record voice messages. Just press this one and hold it down. It will then record and then you can just slide to cancel that message or you can just hold it down once, record for a few seconds, let go, and then that will be in there for uh, voice messages. Use the camera to send images. So just press it once. You can see the options here. It might be different on your phone, but pretty standard. You can just take an image with the middle button and then send that if you want. There's also some good options up the top that where you can add maybe some writing if you wanna write on the screen and you can undo that like that, or that you can add text as well. You can also crop the image really easily as well. So there's some good options in here, really a lot like WhatsApp and other messaging apps, you can press okay. And then when you're happy, you can send it or you can add that to a text message as well. I'm happy to just send it to the chat like that. You can also react to messages as well. So if you just press and hold any of the message boxes like this, emojis will come up and you can see all of them here. You can just uh, react to one by pressing it and then the other person will see your reaction. 
If you want to reply specifically to one message, so if they sent you a message box that you want to reply to, you can also hold this down. Down at the bottom there are a few options. If you want to press the back button like this, you're replying to that message. So that message will be quoted and then you can type in whatever your reply is. I'll just get rid of that if we hold the message again. You can press the forward button, which is forwarding on. So you can now forward that specific message to a load of different contacts if you have them. If we press it once more, you can also go through and delete that message. You can also check the I. So that was uh, just some information of when it was sent. Uh, then we'll go through and press it once more. And there's a few more options here. You can select that and other messages as well and then uh, just delete them. They will only be deleted for you though. They won't be deleted off the other system, but you can delete them like this. A really good unique feature of Signal though is disappearing messages. So if you come up to the name on the chat at the top, this is really the settings bar, you can come down to disappearing messages. I'm just gonna toggle this on. If it is on, then by default, all messages sent in the chat will disappear after one day. I think this is a really great feature and you can toggle this obviously to whatever you want. So the maximum is one week, but then you can come all the way down to maybe even five seconds. So if you do really want privacy on your messages, you can set it. So let's just set it to five seconds, come back, and then I'm just gonna add another message. So I'm just gonna write hello like this. And then if we wait five seconds, after that five seconds, it should actually just disappear completely. That will disappear for you and for them as you can see. Another good security feature is view safety number. So if we click on those options once more, you can see this view safety number. I'm gonna click in here. I'm gonna to have to essentially black all of this out, but what you can do if you have access to the other person that you wanna message, you can actually scan their number and then you can mark them as verified as well. So you can scan the QR code on their phone or you can press this verification down here and essentially it's like you saying, yep, they are verified and I trust who they are. So they will now have a verified tick by their name. What What's good about this is that if they change their phone, so if they actually delete signal and then reinstall signal on a different phone, that verified tick will change. If we come out of this specific chat, you can capture media when not in a message specifically. So you can press the camera button and it will come through so you can capture some video or an image. If you wanna have a video, just hold down the middle button and it will start shooting a video. You can take your hand off and that will be a video. You can then send that with a new message and you can go through and select the contact just by pressing send. That will go through to the contacts on your system. So you don't have to go into a message to actually record any media, which I think is a good thing. You can then come out of the camera screen and go back to the main screen. You can do exactly the same thing for group messages as well. So you can actually come down to the bottom and press new group. And then you can just come in and choose all of the contacts that you wanna add. And it's exactly the same as WhatsApp or any other messenger service. That's the basics of using Signal though. Definitely some really good and unique privacy features in this app. Do subscribe for way more helpful content like this. And I'll see you in the next one.